Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to present on an ethical hacking tool called Advanced Port Scanner, which is used to perform uh, network reconnaissance on ports and switches, as well detecting a potential security breach by identifying what's connected to the network and services running on them such as FTP and HTTP. Advanced Port Scanner is a free network scanner that allows us to quickly find open ports on network computers and re retrieve version of programs running on the detected ports. Port scanning is a method of determining which ports on a network are open, closed, filtered, receiving, or sending data. So here, what we are going to do, we are going to uh, identify host services, open ports uh, from a local connected router. I'm actually going to use my locally connected router with IP 172.18.6.1 up to 254. At the same time here, yeah, I'm going to select my, my ports. Uh, my ports range from 1 up to uh, 1023. So I would actually want to see uh, which ports are open, closed, filtered. At this moment, I'm going to scan TCP ports. Uh, later on, I'll do the user data, the datagram protocol. So after punching in my IP address, I'll start the scanning process so that I see the worst services and everything that is actually connected to my network. So here at the bottom, uh, you can see that uh, it's on 36% and the network, uh, the two has actually found uh, four alive, worst is zero dead and 183 unknown. Oh, scan is now almost complete. Um, let us wait and see, like uh, how many wars are we going to get from this network? Since it's actually now it's ninety nine. From this panel. We can see the status of the host that this was uh, alive, the name of the host, the IP address of the host, the manufacturer, the MAC address of the host, and the posts that are open. So here, yeah, this this is my router. As you can see, it's a Cisco router though the operating system, the actual operating system is not uh, listed here, but the ports that are open for this uh, router is 23 and 53. The same applies to this desktop, which has uh, uh, IP address uh, 172.18.6.41. Uh, this is the MAC address for that machine and the ports that it's actually using. So on this uh, right hand side panel here, that's where my report will, uh, will be shown for each host. So I'm going to click on each host so that I see um, uh, the information that is uh, on my report here. So here we can see that uh, this router is alive and uh, it's running on 172.18.6.1.
with MACAD, this MAC address and it's a Cisco, Cisco router. So it's using port uh, TCP port 23 and uh, 53. Uh, this router is actually terminated, but uh, we all know that uh, when we are performing the ethical working, uh, telnet normally sends uh, packets in plain text so it will be easy for an attacker to invest drop on the telnet uh, so the best uh, solution will be uh, using uh, a secure shell uh, on this router so that we avoid uh, the issue of uh, events dropping uh, let us check on this desktop so that we see the services and ports that are open we can see it's uh, using these ports but uh, for these uh, ports uh, 445 and 808 they are open ports but from uh, the analysis here we can actually see that uh, there are no services that are actually running on these ports. This can be used by uh, an attacker uh, to as they can be used by an attacker uh, by port scanning uh, these open ports which are not uh, actually being used. So the attacker can uh, send requests uh, by listening to what is being sent and received from these ports. Uh, let us also check on this uh, host uh, which is holding an IP address 53. Uh, from the report here we can actually see it's a printer. Uh, this printer is actually running on an HTTP but all the ports are in use. So if we click this HTTP service Oh, it will definitely lead us to a web page for that printer and if we open it here we'll see that uh, this printer is uh, an HP printer 604 it's only that the browser is acting up here so the recorder is running on the same browser so it can't open directly the the link but we can see here that it's running an http service here yeah. uh, the other other one is uh, this host on ip address 90 we can see that uh, uh, it has a windows operating system which makes it easier for an attacker to uh, penetrate or try everything that uh, they can do to hack into the Windows system. It's a desktop and it actually has an open port 445. Um, this port is not in use. Was uh, port 135 is uh, using Windows, uh, Microsoft Windows on a PC, and uh, port 139 is using the Net BIOS. So let us go to the last one that we have here. There is no information, much information that is provided in terms of uh, the service. We can see it's a desktop, but uh, from my understanding, is the current host that I'm using here to present. So the other things that uh, the, uh, a hacker can do in terms of ethical hacking is uh, uh, we can run quite a number of things. We can run telnet, we can run uh, different tools such as pinging the IP address uh, we can trace the route of uh, the IP, we can do the telnet, we can do like the remote desktop. 
so this is much more about uh, how this application uh, works so like i have mentioned that uh, there are quite a number of vulnerabilities that we can see from the scan results and at the same time the recommendations that i was putting in 